1946, somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, one of the first episodes of the Cold War unfolds. An Iron Curtain has descended across Europe, as Winston Churchill put it. The USA showed the world that they possessed the atomic bomb, but Stalin wants it too. A global arms race ensues. President Truman decides to build more atomic bombs. They will be tested in the Pacific Ocean on a tiny group of islands known as the Bikini Atoll. On Bikini itself, giant towers are being built for photographic observation. These tests will be the first atomic bomb explosions since Hiroshima and Nagasaki. July 1st, Operation Crossroads. The purpose is to test the bomb on warships. The U.S. military is determined the details of its superweapon will remain a secret. The atom bomb, carefully screened, is wheeled to the B-29 that's about to carry it to Bikini. Not even a glimpse of this epoch-making missile is permitted. Inspired by a Rita Hayworth movie, the first bomb dropped on the Bikini Atoll is nicknamed Gilda. And now it's time to go. Mission Crossroads has begun. Able Bomb, with a power of 21 kilotons, explodes under the scrutiny of scientists without serious protection. Those without goggles shielded their eyes with their arms as the world's fourth atom bomb fell. Following the colossal flash, a great cloud rose seven miles up into the sky. All can judge for themselves that the world is certainly at the crossroads. Yet the test ends in a failure. The target is missed. Only five out of 90 warships are destroyed by the explosion. A second bomb is tested two weeks later. This time, the test takes place 90 feet underwater, and the bomb is attached to the hull of a boat for more accuracy and impact. Two minutes to go. Dr. Holloway moves a switch, lights flash. The staging is perfect. Even the count is filmed. Five, four, three, two, one, fire. It's 9H35. Baker explosion is a complete success. Tsunamis of 30 meters are formed and swallow the warships. Radiation, smoke, fire, steam, water, a pattern of irresistible power recorded by a movie tone cameraman, among many others, recorded for all the world to see as thousands of tons of water swirling upward, a picture that epitomizes the colossal energy released. Uh, the U.S. and its close allies were in possession of, of a uh, weapon capability in the form of a nuclear deterrent that, that clearly had strategic implications. An air view of an explosion equal to 50,000 tons of TNT. Scientists compute the temperature in the center of the atomic typhoon as 100 million degrees. The temperatures generated will melt steel and vaporize any living thing. In the face of the magnitude of damage to the region, a third Pacific Ocean test is canceled.